For Black Friday this year, Funko released a bunch of official mystery boxes. And as soon as I saw they went live, I had to grab a couple. So today, we're gonna be cracking, well, two of them open. And the cool thing is about these is that there was a bunch of different categories that you could pick from. So you're not just getting random figures, you can kinda get something you would enjoy. And so I picked Galactic as well as Disney, and I'm really excited to see what's inside of here. And also, every single one of these mystery boxes came with an exclusive figure, which was the Yuletide Freddy. And so if I'm to be honest, that's kind of the main reason I bought two of them, so I could have one of them for my collection, and then my mom also really wanted one, so it's going to her. And so I guess let's just crack into the first one here and find out which theme we've got. Oh. Oh, okay, so this isn't too bad. It was a box inside of a box. That's nice. Sorry! And just to let you guys know, there is still no indication as to what type of box this is, but let's do it upside down so I have no clue what figures are in here. Okay, so for as of right now, all I can see inside of here is this. That's it. And so let me just reach in and find out what the first figure is going to be. Oh, look at that! And now the question is, are we opening the Galactic box or the Disney one? Because Soccer Freddy doesn't have anything to do with either, but I'm not complaining. It's a really nice figure. Figure. And this is also one that I don't think I saw go up normally on the website So maybe you could only get this one over on Funko Europe I think it might be something like that and I'm hoping that they do make a normal soccer Freddy in the future where he isn't like this Just completely like DIY because I think that would look really great or maybe they did for the Funko fun day games I'd have to check and well anyways, let's get into the second figure here, which is going to be ah, Okay, there we go guys. That is the Yuletide Freddy and I do understand that we're a little late for the holidays but it's not a Christmas one. It's just kind of like a festive one. I think we're good. But yeah, this is a really great one. And taking a look at it, I'm loving the box on this. And now they actually made it look wrapped. And then the way he's holding the Yuletide, I believe they've actually used that Santa Freddy head in the past. But besides that, it seems to be a brand new sculpt. So definitely a fun one to have inside of this box. And it looks like it's number 202 in the Freddy line. Wow, it's getting pretty high. So definitely a cool one to have inside of this box. And now let's get into figure number three and find out who who is this? Because it's probably going to tell us if it's Galactic or Disney. And boom! Okay, I think we got the Disney one. I mean, getting Princess Minnie Mouse, it's definitely not Galactic. And this is a pretty cool figure, especially because I don't have it. Oh, that's kind of fun, actually. Now that I think about it, I don't own any of these figures yet. And with the amount of figures that I've got in my collection, this is pretty rare. And so now let's find out if the next one is going to be Disney. Okay, yeah, this is definitely the Disney box. And I believe this one here was one of the ones you could get free on their website a little while ago. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, I'm just letting you guys know, because I believe if you spent 50, you got this one as well as a couple others free, like you could choose one of the figures as like an option, and I remember this one was definitely in there. Actually, now that I think about it, I believe I chose this one not too long ago. And so I don't have this figure in the collection yet, but it will be here soon, and I do really enjoy this one a lot, especially with the way he's got the hook, and then he's in the boat. It's really well done. And if you guys want to see the rest of the villains in the train line, here they are in the back, and I gotta say, they all look great, especially with the way they themed the car to look like something from their movie. Or at least something to go along with each character. I mean, they're super detailed. Alrighty, now let's find out what's going to be number five in this box, and okay, we got the common Buzz Lightyear, but still, I like the figure, and I did enjoy the movie. I just believe, yeah, I've definitely got this one in the collection. Because originally when the movie released, I did a hunt looking for all of these, so yeah, I definitely have this pop. And again, if you guys want to see the back of the box with all of these guys, there are some nice ones. It's just too bad that I do have this figure. And now now, everybody, last but not least, inside of this box, we have... Ooh! Hey, you know what? This is a good one. Sully with Boo. Another Funko Shop exclusive. So we ended up getting four exclusives out of the entire box, which isn't too bad. But very similar to Captain Hook, this was another one of those figures that you could have got free on the website if you spent $50. And they're not bad figures. It just seems like they may have overproduced them just a little bit. Just for fun, at the end of the video, I will be pricing out the boxes to see if we did make the $50 on them. But I gotta say, to get the inside of here. I'm pretty happy with it. Alrighty, now everybody, it is time for the Galactic Box. And now this one, to be honest, I am a little bit nervous about because I saw that a lot of people were getting figures that weren't really Galactic. I just figured I'd order this one because it might be some weird Star Wars figures that I do not have in the collection, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. And so just like the last box, I did open it upside down, so again, I've got no clue. And so let's start with this figure up in the top left, just like last time, and boom, who is it? Oh, 
no, Pirate Toucan. So far, not off to a strong start when it comes to Galactic stuff, but it's a really cool figure. It's just not exactly what I was expecting when they said Galactic. And actually, now that I think about it, they did make a spacesuit Toucan. Why did they throw that one in? Look, I don't know. I'm not going to complain too much. And now let's get into the next figure here, which is, boom, okay, the other Yuletide Freddy. And this makes sense because inside of every single one of these mystery boxes, there was supposed to be one of these. So if I didn't get one, it would have been a little bit sad because like I mentioned earlier, my mom did want one. And now after that, we've got, boom, who is this? Ah, uh, Spike Lee? Okay, I don't actually, do I have him? No, I don't have him. So that is kind of cool. I did need him for my director's collection, but this is not at all galactic. So I don't know, guys. Let's just continue and find out what the next figure is going to be because this is kind of weird so far. Uh, oh, wait a second. Freddy Funko as Hannibal Lecter. And it's kind of funny because I bought the, which box was it? It would have been the Nosferatu one. And I was kind of sad that I wasn't able to get the Hannibal Lecter version. So I guess here he is here inside of my mystery box. So you know what? This is a pretty cool figure to get. It's just too bad that it's not another galactic one. And I guess, could they have done a galactic Freddy? Like maybe Rick would have been cool or somebody like Optimus Prime would have been a little bit closer. But you know what? I think at this point, I've got to take galactic and throw it out the window because I really am liking these figures. Is it as exactly as advertised? No, but you know what? They are some fun ones and you don't see them very often. So now let's get into this one here, which is again, not galactic, but it's Leatherneck. A figure that I don't have in my retro toys collection. So hey, a cool one to get. And I believe it released a little while ago. Does it say on the bottom here? Okay, so 2021. I thought they came out in 2020, but no, I guess it might've been last year. If I'm gonna be honest, they released so many of the retro toys at once. Like they started them, I swear, in maybe 2020. And now they're already up to, where is it here? Play-Doh container is number 101. They got really quick with these guys. So I've been trying to keep up with them the best I can. And I guess it's nice to get something I totally forgot about in the mystery box, or at least totally missed out on because I forgot to pick it up when they first released. And now let's get into the last figure for the day before we price them out. And this one here is, oh, okay. The Frankenberry, another one of those figures, very similar to Captain Hook, as well as Sully. That was a free one if you spend $50. And I believe out of all of these here, this one was the only one like that. Okay, everybody. So I've officially priced out both of the boxes and I gotta say they're pretty surprising. And so let's start with the Disney box where the Freddy Soccer, I actually didn't have a price for it, but he was going for $15. And by the way, it is only available on Funko Europe. So that's kind of cool. And then the next one that we've got here is Yuletide Freddy coming in at $27. Definitely surprising with the amount of boxes they've sold. Then we've got Minnie Mouse at $10, Sully at $24, Buzz at $12, and then Captain Hook at $22. And so with me only spending $50 on this box, this one here came out to a total of $110, so over double what I paid for it. And then when it comes to the Galactic box over here, it gets even crazier because the Toucan is coming in at $29. The Yuletide Freddy, like I mentioned earlier, is $27. Then we've got Spike Lee coming in at $5, the lowest out of both of these boxes, and I'm honestly pretty surprised about that. Because like, where are you able to buy a Funko Pop for five bucks. I feel like it would probably sell for about 10, but it says five, I'm gonna put five. Then we've got Leatherneck coming in at 11, the Frankenberry coming in at 28, and then the most surprising out of all of them, the Hannibal Lecter Freddy coming in at, are you ready for this? $60. And so this box here came out to a total of $160 with both of these here, me only spending a hundred bucks on them, coming out to a total of $270. Now, if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I came into this thinking that they weren't going to be very good because a lot of people had been complaining about them. And even though this wasn't really galactic, I am not sad about these. And so I think if Funko were to make more mystery boxes, maybe make them a little bit more themed like they were supposed to be. But besides that, pretty decent. And well, I hope you guys enjoyed these official mystery boxes from Funko. And if you picked up some for yourself, please let me know in the comment section below, what did you get? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow.